This is Shane with That's It Guys .com. Today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different, something I don't plan on doing too much of, but I'm actually going to be doing an app review. Um, today's app is actually going to be TeamViewer for the iPhone. This program has is really the whole reason I got this phone. Um, I normally tout around a laptop, and I don't really want to be able to have to do that all the time. This actually takes care of that because I'm able to connect to my computer at home and just to kind of demonstrate the features on this you basically set up a team viewer account which is free as long as you're not using it commercially um, and you download the program on your desktop and download the app for your iPhone which is also free and I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my desktop which is actually right next to me so this will be a network test through Wi-Fi but this will give you an idea of what it's gonna look like under Wi-Fi now this is actually loading my desktop right now and it works with the normal pinch functions and rotating in any direction will also work but the real key features here it's actually a little bit interesting how it controls it actually works more like a touchpad because you don't actually click where you want to go you drag the mouse to where you want to go on the screen as such the mouse is over here but I'm dragging here and obviously all the clicks are just by taps double click is going to be a double tap now when you focus in on an area such as like uh, this little chat box right here if you want to actually use the keyboard there's a keyboard button right here and it brings up not only the standard Apple keyboard but you can also bring up some additional controls and Windows keys and you could actually do different button combinations like for instance I just brought up my start menu which I do not want and if you hit this little key right here this will bring up the extra functions and gives you all your function keys actually page up page down arrow keys pause and other keys and there's a few more and then it'll cycle you back into the standard keyboard menu and the one thing I thought immediately when I saw this was eject my CD drive that's that's interesting but actually it's just to close the keyboard now the thing that really really pushes this over the top aside from the speed this thing works even in the worst signal this thing is still at least you know it it compensates for your actual speed right now I have it so that it automatically loads my wallpaper because I find it annoying for my screen to be black when I'm actually using this but if you go into this menu function right here you could actually jump between multiple monitors I mean when I seen this I, that was like the most amazing thing to me I'm able to jump onto my second monitor which at the time right now let's see is just a video folder but I'm able to jump onto my second monitor go back drag a window between you could actually combine the two monitors and kinda of go between them but I prefer to keep them separate and you can adjust screen resolution you can adjust all these other various settings um, you could actually you know you can have it so it, by default it removes a wallpaper but you can enable that and you can have it where it saves passwords on here and there, there's just plenty of functions I mean they just go through absolutely everything on here this app is amazing I would definitely recommend you guys grab this I'm gonna stick this on our website so you can visit right in the description bar below. And thanks for watching this short review. For more app reviews, you should also subscribe to T is for Tony's channel, which is right here. He also is going to have a section on our website as well, which we should have up today. And you may have noticed, but we have a new video intro, which was actually made by my friend Yusuf, better known as Ask Yus. Yusuf and Tony are both learning Cinema 4D, and Yusuf actually just learned animation yesterday, so hopefully we'll have some better special effects down the road. And you can check out his channel right here. He also has a on our website as well, doing console reviews and news. And thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and check out our website at that'sitguys.com.